most aspects of Jinx, the violence, the hallucinations, we don't see until after the time skip, but the lack of empathy, the not being phased by the suffering of others, there's some signs of that much earlier, possible subtle signs. Tell me what you think. In the opening scene, the sisters come upon the dead bodies of their parents, and Vi's reaction is very powerful and exactly what you'd expect from a child her age. Powder, on the other hand, she's also sad, but she seems more sad for Vi. She herself doesn't appear particularly affected by the sight of her own dead parents. On a similar note, look at how she reacts to seeing Vander's body. Nothing. She knows what happened, she knows that she killed her family, but when Vi asks her why do you do this, Powder doesn't scream in agony or say I didn't mean to or say it ain't so or anything like that. She says, Why did you leave me? The trauma was Vi's abandonment. Like she says, Vi created Jinx, it was that trauma, not the death of her family. She feels guilt over it, but is it really an empathetic, conscious-driven guilt, or just that she blames herself for Vi leaving, just a powerful, selfish regret? Hard to say. If this is true and she did show red flags like this, maybe this is why we don't see Vander being much of a parent to her. I mean, we never even see him speak to her. I'm gonna go into this more in the Sunday's video analyzing how Arcane writes parents. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching.